Hello family, we thank God for another day. We bless him for his goodness. As we continue to pray for Israel, today my prayer is that many people would begin to pray for the peace of Israel. Before I pray, my passage of scripture today is Psalm 122. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem that is built as a city that is firmly joined together, to which the twelve tribes go up, even to the tribes of the Lord. As was decreed as an ordinance for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there the thrones of judgment were set, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you, holy city. May peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brothers and my friends, I will now say, may peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, which is Jerusalem, I will seek your, the city's good. So Father, today as we lift up Israel to you, God, we know that, Lord, there's nothing that is put in Scripture that is there just for the sake of being there. Everything that is in Scripture is for information and it is also to let us know that which you desire for us to know about you, about how you expect us to live, about the things that we're supposed to do. And so, Father God, I believe that this passage of Scripture concerning Jerusalem and Father God, the, the, the fact that, Lord, it was mentioned that they should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord God, I believe it is there for a reason. And even, Lord God, for us in our day, it is important that we are aware of this particular scripture. We know that, Lord, within Christian circles, the phrase praying for the peace of Jerusalem is widely known. But Father God, it is one thing for us to know your word and it is another thing for us to put it into practice. So today we even want to say thank you to those for you, um, to you rather, for those that Father God have faithfully adhered to what is said in verse 6 of Psalm 122. For I know, O God, and I've heard of many people who so dearly love Israel that they pray for Israel frequently. But Lord, there are also many who do not pray for Israel or Jerusalem. And so Lord, today, knowing the Father God, it is a, count, a nation where there's so much going on. And the, if, if there's ever a nation that needs peace, it is Israel. And so today, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will raise up watchmen and women who would pray for the peace of Israel. We're asking that across the nations, Father God, you will put a burning desire, O God Almighty, and a sense of urgency in the hearts of many women and women, Father God, to pray for the nation of Israel. That like your word says, that they will be people who will not relent. Because, Father, we know that some of the conflicts that has been going on, Father God, between them, and even Lord God Almighty, the Palestinians, God has been going on for several years. And so, Father, it is somehow natural that one would think that if it's been ongoing for so many years, that there is no need for us to pray about it. But Lord, again, we're reminded of your word that says that we should pray for all people and concerning all things, Lord. And so, Father, we pray. That as you raise up these women and men, God Almighty, giving them a burden to pray for Israel, they will not relent, Father God, until, O oh God Almighty, you move mightily in that nation to bring about peace, Father God. Lord God, if we're to use our own human understanding to assess how that will come about, Father God, we may never get an answer. But we stand on the authority of your word that says that with you nothing shall be impossible. 
you asked the question and you said, is there anything too hard for you? We know that there's nothing too hard for you. And we know that, Father God, you can bring peace to that region in an instant, Lord God. But Lord God, once again, your word tells us your ways are not our ways and neither are your thoughts our thoughts. A thousand years is like a day in your sight and a day is like a thousand years in your sight. So, Father, ours, O God, is to obey that which you have told us to do. So I pray that as you raise up these men and women to pray for Israel, that, Lord God Almighty, they would not let human reasoning, Father God Almighty, cause them not to be consistent. That, Lord God, they will consistently and fervently pray, Father, for the peace of Israel. That as prayers are lifted up to you across the nations, Father God, consistent, fervent, travailing prayer, you will move in that nation. You will cause, O God Almighty, the many things you have spoken concerning Israel that is supposed to happen in the end times, that we will begin to see it all coming together. For Lord God Almighty, you have told us that if your people that are called by your name shall humble themselves and pray, and turn from their wicked ways, then you will hear from heaven. So, Lord God, I know that you're desiring to hear the voices of saints across the nations, lifting up, O God Almighty, to you in intercession, the nation of Israel. And as they do so, you who remains faithful to your word, that when we call, you will hear and you will answer, will watch over your word to perform it, Lord God. So for all those that have been fervently praying, Lord God, may you continue to bless them. May you continue to cause them, Father God, to be faithful, Lord God Almighty, in that yearning desire that you've placed within them that causes them to cry out to you day and night for the peace of Israel. And for those that are yet to join, those that have already been praying, I thank you, the Spirit of the living God, you will give them the grace to do so. You will show them how they are to pray, what they are to pray, that their prayers will not be amiss in the name of Jesus, that, Father God, as prayers are lifted up to you, O God, you will cause your good and perfect will to be done in that region. We give you glory. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. We're personalizing it by saying, I destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and I take captive and I take every thought captive to obey Christ. Christ. The Lord bless you and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow in Jesus name. Amen.